In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Homebrew channel on the Wii U. You're going to need a Wii U, of course, any any addition. Um, I'm pretty sure this works on all regions as well. So a copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl and an SD card. Pretty sure it works with any SD card up to 32 gigabytes. Now for some questions you're going to leave in the comments. Yes, you do need Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yes, you do need an SD card. As far as I know, you cannot use a USB flash drive or anything of that nature. There are other games that you can use. This is the only one I own of the games that work. There'll be a link in the description of other games you can use, but they have different methods, and this video will focus solely on using Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And as I said, it works on any edition of Wii U. You're also going to need some way of getting files onto an SD card. This could be like a Linux, Windows, Mac, you could probably use your phone somehow. I'm going to be showing you on a Windows computer, because that's all I own. You can It's pretty much just unzipping zip files and putting them on, an, on certain parts of an SD card. You're going to need a standard size SD card. You can use like a micro SD card or mini SD card with an adapter. Now, as I say that, we're going to get we're going to start copying the files over to our SD card. Right now, we are going to go to weubrew.org and we're going to download the smash stack files. I'll put the link the the link in the description. So you're just going to click on the link. It'll be weubrew.org slash wiki slash smash stack. It's going to links and then download it. Then you're going to go to bootme.org. You're going to make sure you're on the download page, which I'll link to again. And then you're going to go to hack me installer version 1.2, or they might have updated it since then. So any higher version than that. And just click on here and download it. This last step is an optional step, but which we will download the homebrew browser. Now this is a software for the Wii, which lets you download other homebrew applications. It's completely optional. I'm just showing you how to install that because this is a very easy way to install homebrew applications. You're going to go to weebrew.org slash wiki slash homebrew browser. And again, the link will be in the description. I'm going to go over to the link section and then just click downloads. So while we download that, we're going to go over to where we just downloaded these things. You're just going to um, right click them and then click extract all. It might be different if you're using a different operating system, but you probably should know how to extract files in whatever operating system you're using. We're just going to do that for all of the zip files we just downloaded. And you see now we have three of these. The smash stack folder will, the smash stack zip file contains a folder called private. Now we're going to go over to your SD card. Let me just do the snap to the sides. Now I put in a blank SD card. So there's nothing on it right now. You may have, you may, if you have ever saved anything to your SD card in your Wii, you may have a folder called private. If you already have this folder, just rename it to something else, like say private old, and then rename it back once you're done doing this so you can continue, continue to access the data that's on your SD card through your Wii. So we're also gonna go to the hack me installer over here. And it has all of these things. You're going to go all the way until you see the boot.elf, copy all this over. You might not need all of this, but it's better just to copy it all over and then so you don't realize you forgot something. Then you're going to go over to Homebrew Browser, then go into the Homebrew Browser folder, and it will have this. Actually, no, you're not going to go to the home browser folder. So you're going to take this, 
on your SD card, if you already have a folder called apps, you do not need to create one. If you don't, you need to create one. So it's APPS. You just create that folder if it does not exist. If it does exist, just drag over the Homebrew Browser into that folder. And when we go in there, you'll see the Homebrew Browser is now there. The Apps folder is where every where all your Homebrew applications are installed. So if you already have an Apps folder, say you did this, before, say you installed it on your Wii before, you don't need to recreate it. And if you already have the Homebrew Browser, you don't need to drag it over again. This is just for people who have never done this before and do not know how to install Homebrew applications. So you're going to want to go onto the Wii mode on your Wii U and then open up Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Make sure while you're doing this you do not put your SD card into your Wii U because it'll delete the Smash Deck files and you don't want that to happen. So here I'm just starting up Super Smash Bros. Brawl and it just takes a second to load. And this is the first time I'm playing it on my Wii U, I'm creating a new save data. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the vault section of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, then the stage builder. Then you're going to want to delete all the custom stages or copy them over to your S a different SD card. Next, we're just going to back out of that and put in the SD card. Just go back to the main menu, put in your SD card, which is what I just did. And now we're going to go back into the vault with the SD card in the Wii that we put the files on. And you go to Stage Builder again. And once it loads the Stage Builder, it'll instantly go to this. And now we're just going to let this do its thing. This screen might take a while. It takes 30 seconds to go through it. I don't know why it takes so long. It's probably doing something important. You just use the Wii Remote vertically. Go over to install the Homebrew channel using the up arrow on your Wii Remote. Then just go up and install the Homebrew channel. Yes. And then click yes using the A buttons. It's going to install the Homebrew channel here. Success. We're going to go to exit. And then it will bring you to the Homebrew channel. Now, since I put the Homebrew Browser on my SD card, when we load up the Homebrew channel, you see the Homebrew Browser is here. I already have it set up, so it takes like a really long time to set up the first time. So we're just have I already did that. I'm just gonna load up the Homebrew Browser. It's gonna show that, and now you can download Homebrew games. I'm I'm not really gonna download any since there's none I really feel like downloading right now. But now you have the Homebrew channel on the Wii U. So do whatever with it you want, and I'll be I'll probably post a video if they ever make a better method that doesn't require a game, or they get it so it works in Wii U mode, because this is a Wii mode only. It works pretty much exactly the same as it does on the Wii, except you can't use game any anything that uses GameCube. You can't use. So if, if you have a homebrew application that requires you to use the GameCube controller, it's not gonna work because you can't plug in a GameCube controller. But that's pretty much it for this video. This is Dantendo Inc. signing off. See you next time.